In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So today's Mass is offered for our grandparents at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Today we usually have Saint, uh, Grandparents' Day throughout the week uh, on the Feast of St. Joachim and St. Anne, but because it fell on a Sunday, we celebrate it today. So today's Mass is certainly offered for them. We pray for their sanctification and for their good health. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have sent the power of the gospel like leaven into the world, grant that your faithful, whom you have called to live amid the world and its affairs, may be fervent with the Christian spirit, and through the tasks they carry out in this present age, may constantly build up your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. Now let's praise the God of all, who always does such wonderful things and treats us with mercy from the day of our birth. Pray for God to make us happy, and let Israel live in peace from this day onward. Ask God to show mercy and save our nation now. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. Our God, be kind and bless us. Be pleased and smile. Then everyone on earth will learn to follow you, and all nations will see your power to save us. O oh God, oh God, let all the nations praise you. Let the nations celebrate with joyful songs, because you judge fairly and guide all nations. O oh God, let all nations praise you. Alleluia, alleluia. I will give thanks to you with all my heart, O Lord, for you have answered me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On his way to Jerusalem, Jesus went along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, Ten men with leprosy came toward him. They stood at a distance and shouted, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. Jesus looked at them and said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. On their way, they were healed. When one of them discovered that he was healed, he came back, shouting praises to God. He bowed down at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. The man was from the country of Samaria. Jesus asked, Weren't ten men healed? Where are the other nine? Why was this for foreigner the only one who came back to thank God? Then Jesus told the man, You may get up and go. Your faith has made you well. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So as I mentioned, we, today we thank God for our grandparents. And I think the model for grandparents is certainly um, St. Anne and St. Joachim. But before talking about St. Anne and St. Joachim, we talk about our Blessed Mother. Why? Because, well, of course, she is the Blessed Mother of God. She's taught Jesus at an early age how to pray, what to do, and even certainly pushed Jesus to help St. Joseph um, to learn the trade of a carpenter. Now, we always ask when we look at our parents, how did you do these things? Because for the most part, as children, we think, well, my parents just know everything. They know what to do. They know how to cook. They know how to take care of me. They know when to buy me my Nikes, whatever it may be. But essentially, when we look to our parents, we see a reflection of our, our grandparents because parents don't just learn things. They don't just know things off the cuff. 
They certainly learnt it from their own parents. And so when we look at our parents, we should certainly thank God for our godparents. And I'm sure from all the parents of St. Patrick's Cathedral, they take care of their children well. I'm sure of it because I know your children. And so when we look at our parents, make sure, kids, that you thank God for your grandparents because what your parents do for you is a reflection of how their grandparents certainly took care of your parents. So today we ask God's blessing for our grandparents. We thank God for them. We ask God to sanctify them and that they give them plentitude of health. They may live years and years and years and they may see you grow older. So today we certainly thank God for them. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who will to save the whole world by the sacrifice of your Son, grant through the power of this oblation that your servants living in the lay state, whom you, whom you do not cease to call to the apostolate, may imbue the world with the Spirit of Christ and be the leaven of its sanctification. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess, profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our, our daily, daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not am worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we draw upon the fullness of your grace, we pray, O Lord, that your faithful who by your will are engaged in the things of this world may be strengthened by the power of this Eucharistic banquet to be tireless witnesses to the truth of the gospel and may ever make your church present and active amid the affairs of this age. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.